word. Father, we proclaim that your blessing shall be upon us in the mighty name of Jesus, that everything that we've engaged in as men of, Father, we declare that you are going to forgive us and allow the Holy Spirit to come and dwell with us. That, Father, as we are going to share this word, may your spirit manifest yourself, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying that, Father, you are going to calm every mountain that may rise, every storm that may rise in our life. The Lord, you are going to calm it so that, Jehovah, you may be presented to be God in our lives. We honor you, we bless you, because you are going to be faithful unto this. In Jesus' name, the Lord, I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, once again, I take this opportunity to congratulate you who are in the house of the Lord and those that are following us online. We welcome you by the mercies of God that you may have your little time we share together whatever God has purposed that we may learn this lunch hour. Before we continue, Brothers and sisters, I've come to realize one thing in life, that God has given each man equal opportunity to serve in this kingdom. That the Spirit of God has given every man equal opportunity. Perhaps you may look back in your life and realize that every child is being born the same way. And you may know by this that every person has been born allocated a certain blessings that follows his life. Therefore, it depends upon when God remembers you, then you are star rise and you expand according to the will of God. Brothers, brothers and sisters, I want to talk about the remembrance of God in our lives. And we may realize that each one of us has an opportunity to stand by the word of God. Each one of us has an opportunity to speak by the word of God. Each one of us has an opportunity to expand in this kingdom. So long as you realize that God has given you enough chance, the same way he has given me, and the same way he has given your neighbor, and the same way he has given the person that you admire his life. Open with me in Luke chapter number 1. Luke chapter number 1, verse 46 to 55. The Bible says, And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced, has rejoiced in God my Savior. 48. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maid servant. For behold, henceforth, all the generations will call me blessed. 49. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on those who fear him from generations to generations. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in, in the imagination of the hearts. He has put down the mighty from their thrones and exalted the, the lowly. 53. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich has sent away empty. 54, he has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers and to Abraham, to his seed forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want us to realize one thing, brothers and sisters, that this is the song that Mary sang when the Spirit of God appeared to him, or rather when the angel Gabriel brought her a message that she will have 
he, she will bear a son through the help of the Holy Spirit and she will have to call him Emmanuel which is translated God with us. And Mary, out of a lot that he has, she has gone through, he realized that it was a time that God had remembered his people. I want you to realize this, brothers and sisters, that when Israelites were promised a king, they knew that a king will come from a royal family. Uh -uh. They realized and they were in their records that the king will be risen from a royal family. Perhaps they were looking and tracing from the genealogy of David and they traced and they knew that one day a king will be raised up by majesty and he will save his people Israel. Therefore, the expectation that the Israelites had were different from the mind of God. And now, God sends the angel to a village girl who was just engaged to a carpenter. Now, the spirit comes and speaks to this lady that Mary, behold, the Holy Spirit shall come upon you and you will be conce you'll conceive and you will bear a son who will save my people Israel. Those were the words of the angel to Mary that led to this song. And this is why I want to speak about the remembrance of God to his people. When God remembers his people, he goes for the lowly thing that the world does not expect. When God wants to save their people, when God wants to save his people, he goes for whatever people don't want to know or whatever people don't expect. And that's where the spirit of God begins. And when we speak about the remembrance of God, this is the performance of Christ to enable each to achieve as per the will of God. Now, when God remembers you, he makes sure that whatever he wants to achieve in your life comes at a particular time and according to the will of him that he wants to achieve in your life. Hallelujah. When God remembers you, he turns what you expect in your life and gives you a plan and a formula towards his will so that you may achieve according to whatever he wants. Hallelujah. Many people in this life may wish to achieve according to their needs, may wish to achieve according to whatever name they want to earn in their lives. They wish to achieve according to the expectation of man. Many people wish to achieve according to what the world is expecting of them. But it is different from God. Whatever people expect from you is different from whatever God wants to achieve from you. Hallelujah. The expectation of man is different from the expectation of God. The expectation of man is different from what God wants to achieve in your life. Therefore, stand in your own. Stand in your own character and stand for God. For when the angel comes and speaks to your life, he speaks the will of God according to the remembrance of God. Hallelujah. God has a plan for each person. And his visitation is the certification of the plan in his mankind. I mean, God has a plan. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. God speaks about the plan that he has for man in the future. Therefore, God has a plan for every man. And whatever he plans comes with the certification when God visits you. 
when God reminds you, when God sends his angel unto you, therefore, the manifestation of his God or his plan comes to be evident according to whatever time he has planned for you to achieve. When God remembers his covenant, he follows it to generation after generation and he affirms his word to be true. Realize, brothers and sisters, that when God promised Israelites that out of your bondage I will send you a savior, he followed this generation to generation until to the generation of Mary when the angel speaks to him. Hallelujah. God keeps his covenant and remembers his people in his own time and the appointed time. Now, when Israelites were expecting in their time, God had his appointed time to achieve his dream. Hallelujah. When Israelites were expecting and demanding that it is written in the prophetic books, in the scrolls it is written, but God had a different plan. And he went for this main servant and he remembered her. And he told her that the angel of the Lord has affirmed that the Spirit of God shall come upon you and you will bear a son and you will rejoice in your life. And I love this song. For the Bible says, And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, for he has remembered me. In Isaiah chapter number 55 verse 8 to 9, the Bible speaks about the mind of God and the mind of man. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and for your ways are not my ways. For as the heavens is higher as the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Now, I want, you to, I want to bring you into this contest so that you may realize when God remembers his people, he comes with his mind. Hallelujah. When God remembers his people, he comes with his plan. When God remembers his people, he comes with his own achievement according to that particular time. Many people may expect in your life that whatever they want to achieve out of you, but I want to encourage you this lunch hour that hold fast what God wants to achieve in your life because that one will determine who you are in the Lord. Hallelujah. Men will give you condition. Men will give you condition. Men will expect you to do according to their will. But I want you to realize this lunch hour that the Spirit of God comes with a plan towards your life. That the Spirit of God teaches you on what to achieve according to a particular time. Now, I want you to realize these four points. Number one, when God remembers you, your soul begins or starts magnifying the Lord. In Luke chapter 1 verse 46 to 47, the Bible says, And Mary says, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoices in God, my Savior. I want you to realize this. When you start feeling that your heart wants to magnify the Lord more and more. That is the beginning of the remembrance of God. Hallelujah. There are many people who wish God to remember them, but their souls and their hearts does not magnify the Savior who gives them according to their needs. When your souls ignite the worship, when your soul ignites 
the magnification of God. When your soul ignites the presence of God. When your soul acknowledges that God he is your savior. It's the beginning of the remembrance of God in your life. Hallelujah. When you begin to testify about God. When you begin to magnify the name of the Lord. The Bible says, and those who will stand before men and proclaim my name, I, Jesus, will proclaim his name before the angels. Now, the remembrance of God in your life begins with your soul. When your soul is enriched with the praises of God, the remembrance of God is near. Hallelujah. When your soul rises, when your mood rises, when your spirit rises, and it pushes your conscience that to tell that the God is greater than the remembrance of God towards the plan that he has in your life is at the doorstep. Many people have failed to achieve in life because when God wants to remember them, they don't magnify the name of the Lord. Instead, they speak about themselves. Wengi usema tumefaulu kwa sababu ya ujanja wetu. Wengi usema tumefaulu kwa sababu ya ukora na pesa zetu. Wengi usema tumefaulu kwa sababu tulikuwa na mtu aliye tutangulia. But I've come to tell you this lunch hour. When you want to succeed, God must remember you. And the one principle that you should hold, when God remembers you, your heart stands to magnify him. In this kingdom, when you praise yourself, when your pride arises in you, God moves away from you. But when you humble and you raise the spirit of God in you, that you may work not by yourself, but the spirit of God to work in you, then God comes next to you and your remembrance is evident. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Psalms chapter number one, three, verse one to five. Psalms one of three, one to five, the, the Bible says, Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Now, when you want God to remember you, remember this. Your soul must bless the Lord. Verse 2 say, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Now, when you bless the Lord, God brings his benefit, which is enhanced in his remembrance. Hallelujah. Who forgives all my iniquities? Who heals all my diseases? Who redeems your life from destruction? Who crowns you with love, kindness, and tender mercies? Who satisfies your mouth with good things? So that your youth is renewed like egos. Hallelujah. When you praise your Savior, when you praise your God, your youth is being renewed like an ego. Realize the character of an ego. Brave, smart. When you praise your Savior, your life becomes smart and higher according to the remembrance of God. But I want to warn you, when you praise yourself, pride arises in you, and the remembrance of God is taken away from you. Therefore, you remain empty and struggling in life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to realize that. That one thing you should know, remembering God is the basic thing that we ought to do as servants of God. 
Remembering God is one of the greatest thing that serves in us. Remembering God, lifting the name of the Father is one of the things that God will base on so that he may lift your life according to the states of heavens. Hallelujah. Point number two. In Luke chapter number one verse 48, the Bible says, For he has regarded the lowly state of my servant. For behold, henceforth, all generation will call me blessed. Now, when God remembers your life, when God remembers you, your name changes to be blessed throughout the generation. Hallelujah. There are people who have been blessed because God remembered them. There are people who have been changed their names to, call, to be called blessed because the presence of God goes with them. There are people who have changed their status because the presence of God goes with them. Mary was a nobody. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was a nobody. But when the visitation of God came, his name changed to be a blessed woman. Hallelujah. And the promises of God goes with generation to generation. As when God remembers you, he changes even the names. He changes even the environment. And he changes even who you are to become a blessed one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Genesis chapter number 12, in Genesis chapter number 12, verse 1 to 3, the Bible speaks about the promises that God remembered and gave unto Abraham. When God remembered Abraham, through the humbleness that Abraham got, his name was changed to become blessed. And furthermore, Whoever was to curse Abraham was to be cursed. And whoever has to bless Abraham is to be blessed. Now, the name of Abraham changed to be blessed. Generation to generation, up to this generation. And the generation to come. Because of what? God remembered him. Now, the Lord said to Abraham, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to the land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you, and I will make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who will bless you, and I will curse those who will curse you. And in your and in you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. I want you to realize one thing. That when God wants to achieve anything in your life, nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible. Completely nothing is impossible. Because whatever God once is always the final thing. Whatever God desires to do according to his plan is all what comes to be in your life. Hallelujah. Point number three. Point number three. Point number three. In Luke chapter number one, verse 49. Verse 49 to 52. The Bible says. The Bible says, 49 to 52. That for he, ha, for, for he is mighty 
has done great things for me. And holy is his name. 50. And, he, and his mercy is on those who, has, who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the, in the imaginations of their hearts. He has pulled down the mighty from the thrones and exalted the humble. Now, point number three. When God remembers your life, Your name is branded of God's grace. Hallelujah. When God remembers you, your name is branded of God's grace. I mean, when God remembers you, you become a, you become a trademark. When God remembers you, the world comes towards you. When God remembers you, the generations comes to us. I mean, you become a trademark in the kingdom of God. There are people who are a trademark in this kingdom of God. Because of what? God has remembered them. God has sealed their life. And God has uplifted them. I mean, when God remembers you, he changes your status. To become marketable and needed in this society. Hallelujah. There are people out of this generation that they will become a trademark for the body of Christ because of the remembrance of God to their lives. Because of the remembrance of God to their families. Because of the remembrance of God towards whatever plan that he has towards their lives. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 27 to 31, the Bible says, But God has chosen the foolish things of this world to put to shame the wise, and God has chosen the weak things of this world to ashamed things that are mighty. That the status of the things that were not counted. That the status of the people that were not to be known. That the status of the people that were to rise. But they had no value to rise. God has chosen them and given them the brand of grace. So that they may rise to the standard that God wants. And the best things of the world and the things which are despised, God's chosen, and the things which are not to bring to nothing the things that are the brand and the trademark, the status according to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to realize. That as from this day, trust in the Lord that your status is going to change according to the brand that God will brand your name. Hallelujah. And I pray unto you that since you've given yourself unto the Lord, that your soul magnifies the Lord, then may the Lord brand you to become a trademark in the kingdom of God. That out of you, that the generation to come may be called blessed because you've realized to sink into the things of God and to work according to the plan of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The trademark. The trademark. The trademark. According to the value of God. Number four. 
And the last one. In Luke chapter number 1. In Luke chapter number 1. Verse 53 to 55. That's my last point. The Bible says, 53 to 55, He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. 54, he has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy. 55, as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. Now, the last item to note in the remembrance of God is that when God remembers you, he fulfills all your needs according to the promise that he gave to your forefathers. Hallelujah. He gives the free fulfillment of all the plans and your needs according to the promise he gave to your forefathers. Hallelujah. There are people in this temple at this particular time. They are going by the grace of their grandmother who was saved. There are people watching me in this current generation. They are going by the grace of their forefather who was a minister of the gospel. And themselves are not. But that grace has been given unto them because their forefather knew the ways of God. Now, I want you to realize this. When you turn your point and realize that you are going by the grace of their forefather, then God reminds you and fulfills what your forefather were to achieve in those days, in the present days. Hallelujah. That whatever your parents never fulfilled in life, you have all the capability to fulfill it now. Because when God remembers you, and when you turn towards him, he fulfills every promise that he gave to your forefathers. Hallelujah. There are people by now that you could have been rich, but since you have not realized the way to go, magnify the name of the Lord so that he may remember you and ignite your dead plans. There are blessings that you have, but in inactive form. To activate them, remind the Lord to remember you. May you walk with them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 10 verse 19, the Bible says, But when you deliver you up, do not worry about how or what you should speak. For, for it will be given to you in the hour what you should speak. Now, in this hour, the Lord does not want you to speak for yourself. Uh -uh. In this current generation, God does not want you to speak or explain yourself. God wants you to render yourself unto him. And he may give you what to speak. And achieve your blessings that are inactive for. Hallelujah. Don't struggle to speak on how you want to speak. Don't struggle to change things. But rather... Struggle with the worship and God will give you what to speak in current generation. I mean, and God will remind your blessings that you ought to work for the servant of God. 
Hallelujah. And I pray by the mercies of God that there are people watching me online. Remember this. Let your soul magnify the Lord to ignite the plans of God to rise and fulfill every need according to the mercy of God. May God bless you. May God bless you. May God bless you. As I pray, your heart give it unto the Lord that the remembrance of God is all what we need. That the remembrance of God is all what we pray for. We might be struggling as men, but God has something that can give us a speak for our blessings. We might be struggling in our lives, but God is waiting when your heart will start magnifying Him so that He may open your doors, so that He may increase you, so that He may expand you, and may it be established in your life according to the remembrance of God that you become a trademark in Jesus' name. I pray that from today, as God is going to remember you, you are going to become a trademark in the kingdom of God according to the value of heaven, not the value of man. May you receive the blessings of God in Jesus' name. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I bless your name. I honor you for you are worthy. You deserve all the glory. You are God that you remembered Mary. And here we are. Lord, we pray, may you remember us. In our ways, Father, remember us. In our utterances, Lord, remember us. In our weaknesses, Lord, remember us. In our diseases, Lord, remember us. In our struggle, Lord, remember us. Wherever we call unto you, Lord, remember us. That your world says, seek ye because you are being found. found be found in our lives. Answer our needs according to our will, Lord. We pray unto those that are watching us online that, Father, from this sermon, I declare healing upon them. I declare freedom. I declare that, Lord, you are going to remember them according to your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus. We love you. We honor you, Jehovah, because you are going to manifest yourself, that you are going to magnify yourself, Lord, that you are going to present yourself to be God. That out of them, Joe, let the testimony come that, Lord, you've done it according to your will in heaven. We praise you and we honor you because you are faithful, God. In Jesus' name, the Lord, I do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. May God bless you, brothers and sisters. May God keep you safe. You've been always a blessing to us, following us online. You've been a blessing. And we invite you to our daily lunch hour service that begins us from 1 and ends at 2 p.m. As you go back to your places of work, I pray for the masses of God to go with you. And may God remember all the good plans that he has for you. We are located at Sparky Beyond Total Petrol Station. We are Friends Church Mombasa. And we welcome you by the masses of God to come and fellowship with us. May you go with the grace of God until we meet again tomorrow, the same hour, the same place. May the masses of God go before you. Shalom.